okay good day guys we are seeing the next video or next lesson okay this lesson is on a banked curve okay banked curve huh? so before i explain about banked curve okay uh, earlier so i have explained about uh, when a car move around a roundabout okay when it's move around a roundabout okay so this i just draw a wheel of there's only one wheel of the car okay is the car okay so it's a moving around a roundabout is the center of the circle so now i just draw one of this wheel here this is the tire okay and okay the force toward the center which we call as a frictional force is acting toward the center or is holding the car so that it's not skipped from the circle and we can maintain the circle okay so this friction force is friction force by the road onto the car so this friction force also known as centripetal force which will be equals to mv square over r okay so that is what we learned uh, before okay now so this car is moving okay so moving okay so and it depends on the frictional force on the four wheels and also the road okay so but so the car also have to move with uh, a, a limit of a speed where it cannot exceed the certain speed okay and if it exceed what will happen so the car may skip because the centripetal force is not enough big to hold the car toward the center okay so that's why if you look at a very sharp curve so what they do so they will bank the road okay maybe you have noticed this uh, near subang jaya so from our college okay when you move into our uh, you want to enter into federal highway so there's a one sharp curve so if you look at the road okay the road will be tilted so i mean okay the one toward the center here will be low and this will be high so if you look at the cross section area okay this one will be same level okay bank road means okay this part will be lower and this part will be higher so it's a raised okay so it's a raised so the car will move here okay so this is not a, like a ramp okay the car is moving towards here okay the car is moving towards here ramp is different okay in a ramp that means okay like a inclined plane okay the car is we draw in this way so i mean the car is moving upward okay but in a bank road the car is moving towards you so there are two different things okay you have to know how to differentiate these two this is we call as a ramp or inclined plane and this is we call as a bank road so bank road normally they bank the road or they raise the road at a very small angle okay so this angle can be calculated if you know okay how to solve or how to derive all the forces that are acting on this okay so now what we going to do okay so we going to label all the forces that are acting on this uh, car on the rank and then after that we try to uh, come up with a formula or derive a formula okay for this okay the first thing so okay i draw this okay i draw this Okay, so let's say the car is here. There is a old Volvo square shape. Okay, the okay. So you are looking at the car. The car is moving towards you. This is the light. Okay. Now, okay, this side is the lower and this side is the higher. So I mean the center is here. So the center is horizontally somewhere here. This is the center of the circle. okay it's moving this way okay first okay we try to label all the forces that are acting on this okay okay so the weight as we know is all weights vertically downwards w equals to mg okay so let me mark the angle here let's say it's right as it is okay and the normal force is here okay normal force is here okay now since it's moving in a circle like this 
so the the force should be towards the center so this will be centripetal force this is fc towards the center and fc also known as f net okay so remember centripetal force is a net force always okay it's a net force okay so now we already these out this now oh, sorry uh, we already uh, draw the body, free body diagram for this okay okay now we going to get or uh, we going to derive the formulas okay first thing okay so we know that okay this is a vertical vertical is mg and this is the normal force and angle here is theta so we know that this is look like a c you can see yeah z so the angle here is theta okay so i draw this angle here is theta z okay theta here theta means here theta and this and normal force and the surface is 90 degrees so if here is theta this should be 90 minus theta okay guys okay let's say i draw a line which is perpendicular uh, which is okay so it's the same line with the weight so that i can find what is the force here okay so we can make a equation upward force equals to downward force okay so now okay so this is i mean the centripetal force is horizontal and this force is vertical so it's 90 degrees if here is 90 minus theta then this should be theta that means this angle is equals to the angle here okay okay since this is a banked curve or banked road or banked triangle so the way we are resolving the vectors are different from the ram the ram what we do we resolve the weight okay we, we get mg cos theta and mg sin theta but for a ram okay for the ram when okay when they move on a oh sorry when they move on a banked curve so what happen they no more rely on the friction so now they rely on the friction force okay that's why they bank the curve okay so that now okay they can depends or they rely on the normal force okay to make a sharp curve with very high speed okay that is the use of this banked curve okay so now for this case banked curve what we do we have to resolve the normal force not the weight okay so ram we resolve here banked curve we resolve on top okay now so this is theta fn is here so when you resolve from here to here this will become fn the angle is given so it should be cos theta okay so from here what we get is fn cos theta is equals to the weight downward mg sin theta oh, sorry mg okay so that's the first equation okay next one this is fn okay what is holding this car towards the center is centripetal force this centripetal force is provided by the component of normal force okay so normal force we have to resolve here so fn the angle is theta here this is no angle so we just say as a sin theta so fn sin theta equals to fc so we are right so please practice on this because uh, yeah is a quite important bank truth most probably you love because things with the planes okay so fn sin theta okay fn sin theta equals to fc so fc also is known as a mb square over r okay now this is the first equation this is the second equation so now we can solve okay it's the same like okay the one we did in the previous video okay so for a charopli okay see so means uh, equation 2 divided by equation 1 fn sin theta divided by fn cos theta should be fn sin theta over fn cos theta equals to mv square over r over mg okay so this should be tangent theta right on top here okay nice okay 
Okay, so you get tangent theta is equals to m cancel v square over h. Okay, so we get this formula. Okay, right. Okay, so now if you know what is the angle and gravity is a con constant and the radius of the roundabout or the curve is known, so we can find what is the speed that is needed so that you won't skid okay so from the circle or from the roundabout okay so this is uh, uh, this is the use of the equation for a banked curve okay guys okay uh, you try to work on this and then try to understand how you resolve this if you have any problem then you just uh, send or post the questions okay on our horizontal uh, circular motion section or channel Okay guys, okay, have a nice day.